In this Photoshop CS6 tutorial, we're going to practice using the Quick Selection tool. So here, um, some of you may know about the Magic Wand tool, which selects areas of similar color, and the Quick Selection tool can do something similar. But when we choose the Quick Selection tool, uh, I have this picture here, and you can use this picture if you go to uh, hunkim.com slash share you'll find this picture it's going to be uh, baby.jpg so let me just uh, use the quick selection tool and you can see it pretty quickly gets uh, the right region depending on the size of your um, brush here you can press the square brackets to decrease this brush and increase the brush you can see that I accidentally got some of the water here there's a plus sign here in this brush if I hold down alt it becomes a minus sign. So I'm going to just click on the areas I, I, I over got. Control plus to zoom in. And let's just uh, decrease the size of the brush here. And hold down Alt to just uh, fix this up here. You might want to click click a couple of times and that's, that's pretty reasonable. And now the thing is uh, I do want to get more hair to fix up later, so I'm going to press the plus side, um, the, the right square bracket to grow that a bit, and I'm just going to get a little bit here, so I'll press click, and I want to get a little bit here, and I'm just going to, oops, control alt Z, control alt Z, undoes, I'm just going to click, control alt Z, this, control alt Z there, it's getting a bit too much. I might decrease the size of this brush here. It's getting a bit finicky there. Might have to uh, just kind of play around with that quick selection. So I'm going to try to grow this out. You might want to click and hold. And just press Control Z once in a while. Okay, this is not working very well. There, I got some more hair there. Control Z. You might want to make the brush size bigger. That might be more um, okay. This is getting uh, a little bit out of control. In this case, I'm just going to use the polygon lasso tool. And if you uh, hold the uh, Alt button, you notice that there is a minus sign. Whereas if you just hold the Shift button. The shift button actually adds a selection, so I'm going to go click, 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 double click, pow, pow, and I just added the selection manually. Okay, so now that we have this nice silhouette, I use the quick selection tool. I even use the, the shift button to add it using some other selection tool because it was getting a bit finicky for me. And I'm going to go edit, uh, copy, and I'm going to go file, uh, new. And I'm going to choose a transparent background, OK. And I'm going to paste it, Edit Paste, or Control V. And I'm going to try to clean out, let's clean out this uh, blue part here using a, the same idea of the green screen effect, chroma king effect of last tutorial. Even though this is not perfectly a green screen, I think we can make some progress here. Let's go to Select Color Range. And let's... Uh, drag this uh, little bar here but let's click on the kind of blue area and as you drag it you, you see the the area we want to ideally make our the subject black and and the, the area that's going to be selected white so we want, we want to see a nice difference there so I'll just kind of drag it so that it's pretty black but the outside part is pretty white click OK and if I were to press delete now you can see that we did clean out the hair somewhat let's press Control alt Z let me just uh, press Control D. I'm not getting enough there, so let's try to get a bit more. So select color range, and let me sample this, even this brownish color. And this is already pretty good, I think. So you can see that this here will kill out. As you drag it to the right, it's going to delete more things, but we might over delete the baby. Click OK. So here, if I were to press delete, it is cleaning out the hair pretty well. Control Alt Delete to undo. However, I don't want to delete the the baby here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that uh, 
quick selection tool again because this is one of many different types of marquee selection tools. And I don't want to add, I want to subtract, so I'm going to hold down the minus sign. Let me make the brush size a bit smaller. Hold down Alt, and as I'm holding down Alt, what I'm doing is I'm just carefully uh, re reclaiming some of uh, the baby because I don't like the idea of uh, losing the baby. So here we just kind of go around the inside here and and here I just did a bit too much. If I press delete now I almost have it but I accidentally uh, did not uh, delete that part there. So let me press control alt Z, control alt Z. So let me press the alt button here just being careful not to mess up uh, accidentally going too much. So let me just go a little bit there. You could zoom in as well if you really wanted, but here this is not taking too long. So let's try pressing delete now. So there we cleaned up most of the junk. I'm going to press control D or select deselect to do that and we cleaned out uh, most of what we want. So this is excellent. We're making good progress to making a beautiful baby magazine cover. So hopefully uh, the use of quick selection and as well as mixing up with any type of other selection tool, holding down the alt and shift buttons is something that you can practice with uh, to open up some new possibilities.